Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at how to make an animation. Last time we had, a, last time when we looked at, we had a plot and we made an animation out of it. And in this tutorial, we'll see how to make, uh, how to make, get your animation saved, how to make a video out of it and how to make it save, save it. Okay. Now, what does it mean to make a video out of your animation? What you need are four things. First, you need something called as a dummy figure. You have to create a dummy figure and then you have to make, you have to get, have a rigid axis. I mean, it's not necessary, but sometimes it's better you have a rigid axis. And then you need this cl class called as animation from matplotlib. And then you need a, you need something called as an animation function. Okay. Now we may not understand what exactly, uh, what we're exactly going to do here, but just follow with me. You'll understand what's going on. Okay. Now I have the entire script written over here. It may look a little long, but don't worry. It's not that hard. Okay, what I'm the main things to look at is that uh, these are okay. We need this line from matplotlib. We need to import a class called as animation. Okay, and I'm going to import the I'm importing this with the name with the name anim. Okay, you can keep any name if you want. That's not a problem. So I'm just in, in, I'm importing this with a name called as anim. So let me go to my spider editor, place this, enter and. It may take a little time because it's a little big. It's a big library, and done. So if I just type anim, press enter, it says that it's a module. It's a module from this Python environment, and it's ready. Okay, it's it's ready. Okay. Okay, now it's ready. Next, what you're going to do is that we have the files. We have the files and all data and all ready, so we can skip this up. It's not a problem. And this is the first thing. First, we need to create an empty figure for which we need this option. So if I, cl if I click fig equals plot dot figure, press enter. I'm going, to, I'm going to get a dummy figure like this. A dummy figure with nothing printed in it like this. Okay. Now that's about that. Now uh, what I'm going to do is that let this figure be as it is, present as it is. Okay. Um, Present as it is, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get extract the. Uh, I'm going to set, I'm going to get the axis separately, okay, from this plot axis, and I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to set paste it over here. What I'm going to do is that uh, I'm setting the axis to be rigid between zero and three sixty and minus ninety and ninety, and then I'm going to get the axis handle from this plot dot axis function, and we will open uh, open it up. Check it out. Nothing happens as of now because there's nothing to plot, so this is going to be just empty, not a big deal. Okay, and then I'm going to set matplotlib.rc params to be solid for the contour line option, but that's not a matter. Now we are going to define a function called as animate. Okay, we're going to define a function called as animate. Okay, which takes an integer, which takes an integer i. Okay, now what this will do, it will just print. It'll just uh, it'll just clear the clear the plot, it'll clear the plot, and then it's going to give a contour plot like this. Contour, we're just going to make a contour plot, and then that contour it will return a file handle. Sorry, a cont, a plot handle called as cont over here, and we'll extract in the cont uh, plot uh, plot handle called as cont using the name cont over here. And then we're printing the title, x label, y label, x text, y text, super grid, uh, super title, grid, contour, contours, and everything, just like we did last time. And then we're going to get contour as well, okay, just like what we did last time. And uh, the pl path that we did last time, we're not going to use it here. Do not use this uh, pass option inside uh, pass option inside uh, the animate function. Because we're going to set how many uh, changes we have, we are, these are supposed to make using the other values over here. So do not set this. So what you do is that just copy all this, and okay, and this function, one more thing, and this function is going to return con, uh, this is going to return this contour pl contour plots handle cont, and it's going to return something uh, so several other stuff. So just put a comma. And this comma over here is absolutely necessary. If you don't put this comma, you'll get you'll get you'll get a lot of errors. So my point is, put this comma. It's important. Okay. 
now what i want to do is that i'm going to copy this entire function okay copy this entire function paste it over here that's it the function is ready now about the animation part it's extremely simple what we need is that if we, uh, okay let this be as it is so what we need is that we need a handle uh, we need a handle called as any which uh, which corresponds to this function func animation and notice the notice the change of case here func in func animation the first letter of f is capital and the animation a is capital over here so be careful about it now uh, what you have to do is that any equals anim anim is nothing but matplotlib dot uh, animation here okay set any equals mat anim dot func animation as it is write write it as func animation and then as an argument to it as an argument to it what you do is that remember the empty figure we made at the beginning and the handle for the use remember the empty handle figure handle fig pass it over here indicating that the animation will be done and animation will be done in this figure okay and then animate you just pass this entire animation function over here call here indicating that indicating that uh, indicating that this is the function that's going to do all the animation part of it okay animation part of it so you pass you're passing that just the name nothing more nothing less and then you set the interval to be 1000 meaning set the uh, refreshing rate between the uh, animations to be 1000 milliseconds okay so it, or one second okay the in, so that's what i'm trying to say pass the invoke an animation function any okay no the animation function pass the animation function as an argument pass the empty figure as an argument or the figure i mean f figure handle as an argument and set the and set the interval to be 1000 milliseconds here i mean you can set it to be 2000 milliseconds meaning there will be two second delay and set the number of frames to be 31 because in this entire option you will have only 31 different frames so set this set the number of frames to be 31 so you'll have 31 uh, slices during the, during your animation separated by an interval of 1000 milliseconds okay and this for this kind of a plot since you when you since we are using a array like this which has only 31 31 slices of time we have to set frames to be 31 okay so we have uh, passed the so that's it pass the animation function set the interval set the interval set the figure handle sometimes you may what you might need is that you may need to uh, initialize a function initialize a function okay uh, for that you need something called as an ini initial function like this def in def in it and then you have to write something here to initialize that you may have to need it but here for our data for our purpose we don't need it and uh, then set the frames and everything and okay now this function does all the job so if i were to copy this okay okay if i were to copy all this and if i paste it over here okay press enter press enter you'll get the animation over here running running in the figure okay and i think this is going to repeat uh, repeat continuously from beginning to ending i guess so let's see how it goes 13 it's going to go up to 31 t equals 31 so let's see 19 20 21 22 go on, goes on okay yeah and after it goes to 31 it's go after it goes to the last time several it's going to repeat again and again and again and again perpetually the entire animation is going to repeat it again perpetually so what what you can do is that once you're happy with this just happy with this keep it running as it is as it is okay and to get a video out of it what you can do is that you just have the last command over here any dot save now since you get the animation function anim, uh, animation matl plot lib animation dot func animations handle any over here you you this func this handle has an object called a save function uh, uh, method called a save i'm going to copy this okay copy this okay and then i'm going to paste this here paste i'll explain what's going on animation.mp4 is actually the name of the animation 
is actually it will be the name of the name of the file that's going to be saved okay video that go the, the I mean the animation is going to be saved in the video with the name animation with an extension mp4 okay uh, and then the frame uh, f frames per second will be set to 1 so this way uh, this is going to generate the animation that we, we that we'll see in the figure whereas this is going to save it as a video so we need to set how many frames should I keep per second so I'm going to keep the frames per second to be 1 so, so if I press enter it uh, it is going to do a lot of it will take uh, some time it will take some time once this red button over here is over red button here is over you're going to get a video out of it and yeah done okay and the animation is still running but you can clo you can close the animation now it's not a problem and if you look at the data folder where you kept all the values okay you get you have this mp uh, mp4 file called mp4 file called as animation.mp4 open this up and there you have it your entire animation being recorded in the form of a video now that's pretty cool uh, just a reminder once in what happens is that sometimes you might find find the data to be slight uh, video to be not so good in quality like this we, we may have a little distortion once in a while but uh, you know that can be rectified by making sh making sure that uh, <coughs> I mean making sh making sure that uh, you have I mean that that can be set uh, that can be set nicely by making sure that uh, you have add lot more parameters into it. You may have to add a lot more parameters into it and stuff to make the videos look a little more clean and everything. But stressing, but strictly speaking, it works. And most important thing is that if you want to get, save the video, you definitely need to install a codec in your system. Codec in your system. In my laptop, I have installed this codec called as FFmpeg okay let me type it up for you guys I need install a codec called as ffmpg okay this is needed this codec is needed if this is not available then this video cannot be made or you might you, or you might need to install other codecs like AV Convy or something of that sort in my win system I have installed FFMPEG so it works fine so if you run this uh, run this without having a codec installed then you may have some troubles you may have some trouble so it's better you have make sure it's better you understand what's uh, better you have this codec installed before trying this up so that you get everything nice okay now that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial now in the next tutorial next tutorial we look at some in some options like interpolation uh, we look at how we we we'll, we look at how to make 1D and 2D interpolations, uh, regrading data, how to regrid it, how to regrid data, and then some streamlined plots and other compli other advanced options in Python. I mean two-dimensional operations in Python. Okay, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So take care.